Hi and welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unbagging the second of six diamond paintings from OneDaySaving.com. So OneDaySaving.com are a company that I have reviewed quite a few times now. They are a budget diamond painting company. So when you get kits from them, they don't come in boxes, uh, they come in these grey bags. <clears throat> so as I said, I've done quite a few and um, they asked me again if I would like to do, review some more. So I'm, I'm al always interested. Um, the reason I do these is to let people see what to expect from various companies, not just the budget companies, all different companies, some of the, the expensive companies as well. Um, so that people can see um, the sort of thing they can expect from the different companies. So this time I was looking on the website and I noticed that they have a section where it says under $4. So I thought that is pretty cheap. Um, under $4 you can buy a diamond painting. So the big question is, are they any good? Are they worth uh, $3.99. So I thought I would uh, choose some and we can have a look and see what we get for under $4. So in this bag there are six diamond paintings or there should be six diamond paintings and I'm going to unbag them one at a time. I'll do an individual video for each one so that I can just concentrate on one picture rather than turning it into a, a mini movie, uh, doing six in a row. So I'll uh, get started and get the blunt scissors out, cut the bag open and see what we've got inside. So as I said there should be six, so I've got one, two, Three, four, five, six. So six diamond paintings. Um, apart from two that I brought out where we can actually see the canvas, the rest are in the, the bubble bags, bubble wrap envelopes. And all we have is a serial number on these. So the downside about this, if you're trying to choose a specific one to do a review of, is um, you can't tell. Um, the other thing is if say you bought a few and you were thinking I'll buy some and I'll send some to friends, you don't know what's in the envelope, you could send it as a surprise I suppose, um, or you could have a sneak peek, open it up, have a look and then tape it up again. So no thumbnails, that's the point. You don't get any thumbnails with uh, one day saving and no box. So this is how they come. So I think, choices, choices, which one will I do first? I think I'll do one of the ones, see that one's uh, actually nearly out of the bag. Um, I'll do one of the ones that we can see, I think. So one or the other, I think I will choose this one. So the rest are going to be appearing in future videos. So if you want to see the rest of them, <coughs> please remember to subscribe and hit the notification button and you will get a little message um, when new videos come up. So this is it. Uh, this one is a uh, 30 by 30 and that is pretty much all we know. It has 14 different colours and that's it. So we will open the bag and as always we will check what is inside the canvas before we actually look at the canvas. Just put that out of the way. So try and get the stuff out without opening it. There 
should be a tree and a pen in here somewhere. There we go. Okay, that's it. <coughs> so this is what we've got in the bag. And the first thing you notice is there are very few drills. Very small drill bag. But it opens the same as the rest. The glue strip along the side. And the bags are in a string. So I suppose the first thing really I normally do is the kit. Uh, absolute basic kit. Pretty much standard for one day saving. We have the green tray, the pink wax and the pink pen. No multiplacers, no squidgies, nothing extra. Absolute basic kit. But it is all you need. If you want to diamond paint, that is the basic kit. And you can quite happily diamond paint just using what you get. So nothing missing. <coughs> so put that to the side. Then we'll have a look at the drills. Now, the thing is, these are what they call special drills. Normally, diamond painting drills are round or square. But sometimes you get kits that have what they call special drills, which uh, can be various shapes and designs. So, um, some new ones that I haven't seen before. Uh, we've got these little pink roses, I would say that they are. Then we've got these uh, blue teardrops, but they're actually a bit like ABs. They've got that iridescence. You can see they're blue, but if you tilt them, they turn to green, yellow, purple. Pretty cool. Next ones are blue again. Different shade of blue. And then we have some round pink ones. And some orange or amber coloured pink ones. And some really small ones. They look a bit like uh, multicoloured glass. Then we have some real drills. Um, these are round black drills. Just normal drills. Um, when you look at these special drills, you will see the ones that are upside down, they have a silver base. And what that does is it reflects the light back up in through uh, the drill. So the light comes in, hits the back, bounces back up, and that's what gives that shine. And normal diamond painting drills don't have that, because you can't see into the drill. And then have some, you can see these ones are round as well, but they're, they're sort of see-through, they almost look like glass. Um, they have the silver backing again to help uh, make them more reflective. There's some nice green ones as well. Some nice purple ones. Nice blue as well. Yellow. This is the sort of clear ones that uh, reflect purple, red, green, blue. And that varies depending on how the light hits them. So they look really cool um, when the, the natural light hits them. Um, <coughs> they, as you walk past, they change colour, which is really cool. And then we've got some uh, almost AB blues. They have a special coating on them. I can see static in this bag. Uh, they have a special coating on them. Um, so the actual colour of the drill is, is, you can see, a dark blue. But when you see the top, it looks uh, sort of yellow, green, gold colour. So special drills. Pretty cool ones in here. I've never seen these ones before. And I've never seen them before. So we have some uh, pink roses and some quite a lot of blue, pink. Yellow, green, purple. So we'll have a look at uh, the other thing I should mention is these are unique. They don't have a DMC code or anything like that. They're, they're just what they are basically. But you can keep spares if you've got any left and use them to bling up things. 
or maybe even swap some out if you have a round kit and you want to stick in some, some fancy blue ones maybe um, but you can use them for different projects maybe put them on things like uh, plant pots and that sort of thing if you're uh, clever enough to come up with designs um, which I am not so that's the drills, uh, quite unusual, they look uh, very nice. So now we see what the picture is, so we have 14, normally you would say 14 colours, but this is 14 different types of special drill. And we actually do have DMC codes, but they don't, this might be a thing, um, I didn't think that DMC codes applied to special drills but they have numbers here um, that I've never seen before so I, I don't know if this is consistent like if Y117 is always this shape and this colour I don't know so anyway we'll have a look at the picture and that is it it is a hummingbird so the canvas, uh, 30 by 30, I notice they actually have uh, dotted lines where you would want to cut it. Um, <coughs> the thing is, because it's special drills, this white area is not sticky. So the only area that's sticky is where the drills go and uh, the background is just plain white. So that's why they've got the dotted lines, which is a nice touch because that way you can be sure you're uh, cutting it straight and you have uh, a nice square if it, you didn't have that you would be sort of trying to cut off all these extra bits that you don't want and uh, you'd have to measure and, and hope you get it right and um, to keep everything in the center but they've thought of that they've got the dotted lines so nice and easy to cut We'll have a look at the actual print where you're placing these drills. So, uh, port glue, we'll have the clear cover on it. So, we'll pull it back to reveal some of the glue. And you can see when I tilt it, that shininess is the glue. And it's actually uh, it's different because if you see that, it's actually circles of glue. Like there are actually circles where the drills go so once you've placed the drills the gaps in between don't have glue on them which I'm just thinking if you had it hanging up it wouldn't uh, attract dust or not attract it but dust wouldn't stick to the glue because it's covered up with the drills which is a good idea and um, so it's actually made up of uh, dots of glue that's the first time I've seen that so uh, that's different. But as far as the actual print goes, um, no problems at all. Very, very clear. Very easy to read. And then we've got the key at the side, so you know which uh, which one it is. So the, the the drills are numbered one to fourteen, and if you look at the actual bags, you can see fourteen is the rows. So you would put the roses where you see number 14. So that would be one there, three in a row here and one there. So that is where the roses go in this picture. And uh, it looks really cool actually. I, I don't know what I was expecting to be honest. Um, it's a nice clean picture. Um, as I said, the, the dotted lines, didn't really expect that. Uh, a really good touch makes it nice and easy to cut the thing square. Um, the individual dots, I wasn't really expecting that either, but um, special drills aren't really something I do very often. But just to see that uh, it's all made up of dots of glue, which is different. Normally, with normal drills, the canvas is just covered in glue. Um, there are no gaps and everything is sticky so <coughs> that is it um, this one surprisingly is called hummingbird and if you're interested in it I'll put a direct link to it in the comments 
um, or in the description, sorry. And uh, you can go and have a look. But as I said, all of these diamond paintings, of these six, are three dollars ninety nine. So under four dollars looks good to me. Um, I would definitely flatten this first before I started it. Um, put heavy books on it. It's not that big. Um, just to flatten the canvas and get rid of these. You can see the waves um, where it's been folded. Uh, if you look at the back and I tilt it so the light hits it better. You can see how the sides are curling up and that's how they want to sit. So what you have to do is flatten it. Um, or I would strongly recommend that you flatten it because if you don't these waves will tend to stay and the drills that are in these waves and the peaks will be at a different angle from the ones in the, the trough. So it won't shine the way it should. <clears throat> so you want the canvas to be perfectly flat before you actually start working on it. And as I said, you can put books on it. This is quite a small size, so pretty easy to do that. Or you could put it under your mattress. Uh, some people do that and leave it there for a few days. When you take it out, it'll be flat. And that's what you want before you actually start. The advantage of doing the special drills is it doesn't take long to do the picture um, because it isn't made up of uh, two and a half millimeter uh, drills. It's made, of these, made up of these shapes and a lot of them are pretty big. So once you place these, you've already done quite a, a bit of the picture. You don't have the background to do either. So um, they, they are pretty fast. If you're absolutely new and just maybe thinking about diamond painting and want something that doesn't take too long, um, special drills could be the answer. Then you get used to using the pen, the wax, placing things. Um, without having a big project. If this had been a diamond painting, that background would be solid white and you would have to sit and put in hundreds of uh, drills. So you don't have to do that. So it saves a lot of time. Um, but that's it. Um, hummingbird from OneDaySaving.com So that was Hummingbird from uh, OneDaySaving.com Special drills, um, I will say that out of the six, uh, this is the only one with special drills. I try to mix things up a bit. Um, so I saw this, I thought, I like that, that looks nice. Um, we'll see what it's like. As I said, um, $3.99, it's not bad at all. So um, they have a section, as I said, under $4 on the website. I will put a link in the description to the website as well. I have a direct link to Hummingbird, if you're interested in it. And uh, I will also put a link to the website so you can uh, have a browse and uh, see if there's anything that you like there. Um, I would imagine the under $4 section, they probably chop and change what's in there. Um, so if you have a look and, and nothing really catches your attention, you can maybe go back at some point in the future, try again, if you're looking to get a diamond painting for not much money. Um, this one would be ideal for someone who is just thinking about diamond painting. It is a bit different because of these special drills, but it is uh, a lot faster than doing a diamond painting. As I said, if that had been a normal kit, uh, the background would be white and it would be hundreds of uh, little drills that you would have to sit and put in. This one doesn't have any, so it's just a matter of do the diamond painting, trim the edges and it's ready to frame. Um, so. A nice easy one and um, doesn't take too long again maybe you want to try one but you don't want to spend weeks doing it just want to give it a try see what you think and then take it from there and um, the special drills would be good for that or if you just fancy a change instead of doing the normal drills and um, special drills make a, a nice easy break and um, because as I said the nature of them it's a lot faster um, so you can you could do that in a day easily, um, but you don't have to. 
obviously you can do what you can do cover it back up always make sure to put the cover back on if you have any glue exposed because guaranteed if you leave it just sitting open something is going to stick to that glue and you're going to have to try and pick it off and um, maybe pet hairs or fluff dust crumbs even whatever so always keep the glue covered up when you're not working on it um so that's it um nothing to um to pick at really um it looks fine the drills look good They're nice and shiny you, you saw them um the dmc codes is something that i wasn't expecting i have done some special drills not many um different kits and none of them had dmc codes they they just had the bag number and that was it that was what i was expecting with this one but i see they've they've got a dmc section um which is nothing I, which is nothing I know anything about. Does, is that even English? Um, which is something that I don't know anything about. Um, special drills and DMC codes. So if you do know about that, um, please let me know. Um, for example, what G eight twenty? Is that a DMC code? I don't know. So um, no, ah, just noticed. The edge isn't cut very well, but it doesn't matter. Um, you can see it's, they've actually cut some of the, the code away. doesn't matter though. Um, as long as you get the number and the actual symbol, you get out of the light. Uh, if you, as long as you've got the number and the symbol, you're fine. But they do have another key on the opposite side and that hasn't been cut. So it's all good. And for $3.99. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's it. Um, I think this is maybe the third special drill one that I'll, I'll do. Uh, I may actually flatten this one quite quickly and uh, maybe do it in my next uh, whipping chat when I do uh, YouTube Live and people drop in and watch what I'm working on. I might pause the one that I'm working on at the moment which is a uh, Roaring Tiger from Homecraftology. Um, it's pretty big, so I might take a break for my next whip and chat and do this hummingbird, let people see it. Um, talking about going live, um, I have just started going out and about in Copenhagen. Um, I did a, a YouTube live uh, last Sunday and uh, <coughs> walked around Copenhagen let people see some stuff. And if you're watching this today when it goes out, I am doing another one tomorrow. As long as it doesn't rain, I will be in Copenhagen and I will be visiting Hans Christian Andersen's statue in Collins Hale. So if you're interested in that, please uh, subscribe and hit the notification button. You'll get a little message when I go live or when I upload another video. Um, as you saw, I've got another five unbaggings to do from this batch. All of them are under $4 each. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.